Good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento for TFNN Mid-Afternoon Update. And we have the stock market was quite strong a little while ago, and now it's sold off a little bit. I posted a chart here of the E-mini S&P. This is the March contract that extends back into 2022. And as you can see, we had a price objective on that, on this large ABCD pattern coming in at 44.35. The high was 44.33.75 yesterday. I don't know if that's close enough, but it's pretty close. We're down about 30 handles from there right now, but that's still very early in the game. It really might not mean anything, but we're getting some really bullish news. When you see a GDP number that was 50% higher, they were looking at 2%, and we came in at 3.5%. That's about as bullish as you can get. In fact, the announcers at uh, CNBC, they were surprised that the market wasn't screaming to the upside. Well, you know, the Dow was down about 150 and ended up turning around and rallied 300 points and then gave it all back. The NASDAQ was up well over 120, 150, I believe, and it gave all of that back. So it's having bad news with, uh, you know, or good news and bad action. Boy, if you ever read an, uh, the book by Reminiscence of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre, boy, he said that was a giant red flag whenever you're looking at something like that. But it's still early in the game, of course. We have a big full moon coming in here today, so that may or may not cause some type of a top. But right now, the whole world is uh, giddily bullish, as they should be. It's been going straight up since October the 27th, and uh, we are in the midst now of some really interesting things that could happen to some of these markets. They may or may not, but you know they could surprise a few people. One of the stocks that's under a great deal of pressure today is in the news all the time is Tesla. We'll be talking about that a little bit. If you remember last, two weeks ago, uh, we had Bill Meridian on, and Bill, excuse me, last week, and he said he was going to be long IBM and short Tesla. And we're going to be talking to Bill in about 15 minutes because when you make a call like this, it deserves your attention because it shows you some of the guests we have here really do some great work, and Bill certainly has done that. So let's keep that in mind as we're watching these markets unfold here today. And we'll cover some of the other positions that we're looking at and answer any questions uh, that might come to your attention. So stay with us. We'll be right back.